really no secret how much I love London. Welcome to London. Do you get a feel of kind of, is there a buzz? I love it here. My British fans, I love you so much. I've been to London a bunch of times and so I have my favorite places. But God, I love the English. It is no secret that Taylor Swift is a pretty big fan of the city that is behind me. I am here in London today and this was a very obvious place for me to start this video because this city gets a fair few honourable shout outs throughout her entire discography of work. She likes this city, or she did. And I'm going to cling on to that until next month when the new album comes out and that might be about to change but until then she has mentioned several times not only her love for this city, its shout out in songs but how she finds it an inspiring place to be to write music. So we're in a city that I consider to be extremely inspiring. And I'm not a musician, but I do agree. There's just a buzz about this city, so it was the obvious place to start. The first song of which being the very aptly named London Boy, which mentions several different areas in London, dotted all over the tube map. Like, she was getting around. She was moving all over the shop. This track um, mentions many places in the glorious city of London. We're talking Hackney, we're talking Camden, uh, Bond Street, Highgate. And let me tell you, I don't believe for a single second that she was traveling with an Oyster card on the tube. However, I am going to be doing that, so we need to get started. The London Eyes disappearing. This is the beginning of visiting all of the locations mentioned in Taylor Swift songs located in the UK, and spoiler alert, most of them are in this city. We're going to head to stop number one, Camden Market. Camden Market in the afternoon. It's not the afternoon, it is the morning. Now, this video took a lot of logistical planning. The first song in question, London Boy, mentions eight or nine, if we're including Stella McCartney on the Heath, specific locations across the city. Not to mention here, many, many of just London in general. London, 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 this was meant to happen over three years. This is supposed to be over the course of three years. Somebody told me, like, they think that you're talking about one day. And I was like, oh, no. Yes. You'd never make it. And to that, I said, challenge accepted. I booked an early train out of Beverly. Temporarily forgot my phone because apparently I have one brain cell wrapping around my head. <laughs> Big love to my Thank mom you. for bringing this back to me. That would have been a disaster. Then I arrived under an incredibly grey sky. No grey sky. Into London with a tube ticket and a goal. Joking, not really. I've actually not bought a tube ticket since about 2015, but you get the point. So in true London style, would you expect anything less? I have stepped off the train and it is pouring down. I've really not picked the best day to film this. You just can't guarantee anything in this country, especially not the weather. So we're gonna brave it. We're gonna head straight to the underground and catch the tube to Camden, which is in North London. So we're heading north. All right, we've made it to stop one. Still a little bit to go because this is Camden town not Camden Market. Then we made it to stop one, Camden. Located in North London, probably most famous for its market. I actually really like this area. It's very quirky, very cool. I am struggling to imagine Taylor Swift shopping here, but you never know. Welcome to Camden Market. In the afternoon, apart from it's not the afternoon, it's the morning, but you know what? Same, same. I can only hope that Taylor saw this looking a little nicer than it's looking right now. Okay, that was a whole Taylor Swift shop. Like, you actually can't make it up. I'm walking around here like, oh yeah, I'm filming the Taylor Swift video. The lady in there, I see a huge fan. She's custom printing any Taylor lyrics, anything you want, really, onto different jumpers in different colors. So of course, I've just bought one and I have to go back in 10 minutes to pick it up. But like, this is location number one. There is Taylor Swift merch, every single one of these. I'm gonna be going home with like a full Eras Tour level collection. Wow, I was thoroughly enjoying myself, honestly. It was around this point, I realized actually this entire place is just a shrine to Taylor Swift and the Eras Tour. And I was fighting my impulses to just sack this video off and go shopping properly, but we had work to do and it was time to move on. I then boarded the very noisy Northern Line. <laughs> Headed even further north to our next location of the Taylor Tour of London. Hi, gay. Woo! Said maybe nobody ever actually. As you can see, this is a lot more residential. This is definitely not somewhere you just happen to be passing through. Like, I can't see you would ever have a reason to be in Highgate. Unless you knew somebody in Highgate. Very much like suburban. Feels more like a town. Honestly, it's not really giving much on a wet, soggy, rainy day in March. But, like, I'm sure in the summer that this is thriving. Now, I actually love a London suburb, but not in the rain. And not when I don't have any friends up here. Northwest-ish London. Not getting a huge tick from me on this day, I'm afraid. Although it would appear that Taylor Swift has actually always been a fan of these 
parts long before Joe Alwyn was even on the scene. Oh man, what part of town are we in now? This is, well, this is kind of northwest London. All right, so we are currently here, zone three, all the way up at the top. We're now gonna try and make it smoothly all the way over to Hackney. I will actually say, I don't think I would want to be taken back to Highgate. I've not enjoyed this. I'm soaking wet, but I'm sure, like I say, it is summer, it's probably the one. Now instead, we're heading east. I am sort of slightly starting to regret decision because I feel as though I am just gonna be so soggy and wet by the end of it and uh, the camera is too so please pray for it because yeah, I don't know if it's going to survive this. So as you can see this is pretty much how all of today is going to look. If you are watching this and you want to give it a thumbs up that would be very much appreciated. You guys know what to do. Okay so I have made it to Hackney which is kind of East London. Very noisy. Should have plugged my microphone in but as you can see it is still raining and my main question to Tyler really here is why couldn't you have picked somewhere like Liverpool Street or Bank or somewhere on the tube line that was a little bit more accessible to get to and not somewhere where you had to get an actual train. First world problems, but I'm pretty convinced she's never been Again, here. Hackney itself was giving wet and rainy residential vibes, although I'm told from a good source, actually this area can be a lot of fun if you know where to go. So I'm gonna tell you now, I don't think I knew where to go, but hey, she does sing, would you please show me Hackney? So maybe you do need a tour guide. Please show me Hackney. You want me to believe that Miss Taylor Swift walked down this high street where there is a Primark next to a phone shop, next to a whatever that is, and decided to put it in a song. I'm actually like pretty convinced and I'm gonna stand by my original statement when I first heard this song that she just looked at the tube map, picked a couple names out, whacked it in it. There is no way <laughs> she's ever walked down here. She, did she go to Greg? Like, I would have actually paid to see photos of that. Like, anyway, I'm getting soaked. We're going. All right, I got a tiny bit distracted at this point in the challenge as I headed to meet my friends for lunch over in Soho, a firm favorite spot for both Taylor Swift, myself, and any London tourist, really. Hello. My friends did join me for part of this. I'm not just running around yeah, totally exactly. by myself. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Nick's like, no, no, really, she is. <laughs> we are eating and I'm very excited. This might be the highlight of the day so far. This is the first time I've felt dry, so that's a real bonus. And also, it looks really bloody good. That's not a cookie, that's a whole dessert. This is the real reason I came to meet up with Lou today. She's provided baked goods. What's it called again? Crumbs and doilies. Crumbs and doilies. If you're in Soho, if you're in Kingly Court, come and have a little visit, get one of these for yourself. I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. All I know is that the London boy. She definitely doesn't. She's not been to Brixton. No. She'd be terrified. <laughs> <laughs> she would be terrified. <laughs> what did she say about it? I enjoy nights in Brixton. It's unsafe. I'm gonna get all the Brixton locals in my comments and be like, that's really mean, I love Brixton. And I like Brixton. She but dated someone British. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. London boy. Sorry, sorry. Keep up, Nu. Uh -oh. Nu's not a fan, so we'll let her off. We'll let her off. I'm not, not a fan. I'm just not. <laughs> Liv and I are going to uninvite. Why is she allowed? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Crazy. Do like she did cookies. provide cookies, actually. I did. So, yeah. yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I enjoy those in Brixton. Shorter to the afternoon. <laughs> wow, look at this. So great. <laughs> Really negative, sorry. <laughs> She's not wrong because that isn't really given, is it? But I summer oh, I really should have just waited till someone to film it. Oh, yeah, look at you both of your Soho in the afternoon. So, my next port of call is Bond Street, arguably one of the most famous parts of the song. Is when she sings, it doesn't have to be Louis V up on Bond Street. So, I am, of course, about to go to Louis Vuitton on Bond Street, which I actually am not sure where it is. This here is Bond Street. I've left my friends now back at Oxford Circus. This is like the main kind of shopping area in London by the way. Here we go. Pulled into the map, Louis Vuitton is literally just down the street. So also you've probably noticed the lack of umbrella. Blissfully, whilst I stopped for a little lunch break, it has actually pretty much stopped raining. Okay, I am indeed passing a Louis Vuitton up on Bond Street. I'm not gonna get any nearer because low-key I find this very intimidating and this is Selfridges, not even a Louis Vuitton store itself. I mean what she actually said was it doesn't have to be Louis V. Doesn't have to be so I'm taking that as it's it's okay to leave. You don't have to stay in there. But we're gonna head back in the direction of the West End, which is probably my favorite part of London, my favorite place in this song. It is never a dull day in central London. And after watching this man do keep uppies and spot real life shoppers of Louis V up on Bond Street, it was time to board the next tube. So technically the next stop is the West End. And the West End. 
West. And the West End is a whole stretch of London. There's a lot of it. So it kind of starts from here. I'm at like near Holborn or Holborn. I appear to have accidentally stumbled into the London School of Economics. And um, I've never felt more out of place in my life. Like all these people are so smart. And I'm here doing a walking tour of Taylor Swift location on my own. <laughs> I imagine if you did want to get some high tea and listen to stories from uni, this looks like the kind of place that would serve very nice high tea. And here is probably the home of the West End. This is Rory Lane. This is the Eldritch Theatre. This has the Tina Turner musical on. At the minute, I believe the Lion King is also down here. I would also imagine, if you really fancied it, the Waldorf probably also does pretty decent high tea. Sadly though, that is a little out of budget for today. Also not something I really fancy doing alone. One of my all time favorite West End. This is Mamma Mia. We could go tonight. And then this one here is the play that goes wrong. As you can see, they really are all very close to each other. All of these theaters are like pretty much all back to back. I also really enjoyed that in this area of London, the street signs actually say theater land on them. Welcome to London. So yeah, I guess that is the West End ticked off. Got that wrong. Here is the Lion King. Also, if you did want a recommendation to sit in a pub and watch rugby with your school friends, this one is a pretty good one. I do like it in here and have been several times. It's close. I'll be honest, it is close. Here is a perfect example. Kind of doesn't know me that she says high tea and not afternoon tea because I do feel as everybody just calls it afternoon tea, but same, same. Penultimate stop of the day, Shoreditch. But this is where we are now. We're getting into the proper East End of London. Shoreditch is famously one of the kind of edgy areas of London. Think graffiti, think independent businesses, lots and lots of like uh, independent coffee shops, things like that. Personally, I actually do really like this part of London. I think that this is really cool. You can actually kind of hear like a little accent shift, even though it's not much. This is much more like EastEnders kind of London accent than where we just were. Say together, together. Together, go blimey Mary Poppins. Alrighty, I would say that Brick Lane is probably like the heart of Shoreditch. This is definitely a street that's pretty famous for. It's like independent shops and independent coffee shops, like I mentioned, but also a lot of vintage stores down here I reckon. Hi, what is the extra chino to take away? Now I really couldn't visit Shoreditch without getting a little quirky coffee from somewhere and that is exactly what I did to head with me to my final stop okay, which okay. is Brixton which is very badly planned because that is all the way in South London and I do actually have to get a train back this evening up to Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Are we pushing it for time? Yes we are. So we're gonna get a real big move on because otherwise there's so much different culture going on down the street. It's amazing. This video almost contends that I spent the entire day riding the London Underground. Like we are almost at that point by now, but this is our final journey, our last stop of the day, Brixton, because well, I enjoy those in Brixton. But this one was not your average tube ride. What are the odds of this? I've just bumped into Lizzie <laughs> on the tube. On the tube. What? I had this little voice. Go Molly on the escalator and I was like, nah, that can't be me. But it was. Final stop. Lizzie, do you want to repeat what you just said to me when I told you what I was doing? I said, honey, are you okay? Well, she did, and then she said nights and in Brixton. I said nights in Brixton are not quite what Taylor Swift makes it out to be. I can't see Taylor doing it, but This is exactly what New said. Do you think she's ever been? No. It makes a heart, that's why she does it. But do you think that's true? I think it is. Oh, it's not very Lizzie's it's Lizzie's a believer in this theory. I don't know if I believe this theory. I believe that she did it because it makes a heart. And okay, so okay. Like well, it, that would make more sense because I don't believe for one single second Taylor Swift to walk down this high street. It's quite fun. Yeah, I mean, is that the place with all the different food stalls? Yeah, it's like a... Um, that is a night out in Brixton. Yeah, I do like that. Guys, I'm pretty sure that concludes the final stop of the day. I've got progressively more and more drowned rat-like as the day's gone on. Gonna blame the weather. Happy ending, because I found Lizzie by accident. I can't believe this happened. That was maybe the happiest accident of all time. I can't believe that. What are the odds of just bumping into your friend on the underground in Brixton? Slim to none. But honestly, the loveliest end of the day, because I'm not gonna lie, morale was starting to get pretty low. Like, it's been a long old day. And now I'm back at King's Cross. First things first, this is the merch that I bought at Camden Market. Very cute. Secondly though, London is not the only part of the UK that Taylor Swift sings about. The bonus track on this album, which is Folklore, is called The Lakes. Honestly, to this day, I still kind of find it wild that Taylor Swift has a song about the Lake District in the north of England. <laughs> She does. So of course, we've got to go to the Lake District. The video is not over yet. And actually, I was potentially even more excited about this leg of the journey than I was about London. So this is our final stop. 
I had every intention of driving this, but like any challenge, why would it run that smoothly? Why would I be able to drive it? Step one, <laughs> we've already failed. My car has broken down again. <laughs> Long story short, Long story short. I'm getting the train, but not just one train, five trains. So this is low key a challenge in itself. Let's get five trains to the Lake District just to go and look at those Windermere peaks. Like the dedication is real, it's real. What are we betting something's gonna go wrong? I boarded train one and then train two. I tried to do some work, but there was no signal before boarding. Train number three to Orkham. I'm getting off at Lancaster. My geography of this part of the country is starting to go a little bit out of the window now. Like, I feel as though I know most of the north until you get beyond Manchester. And then I'm like, um. So I was looking for my train and I thought it was the train to Lancaster, but it isn't. It's the train to Morecambe. The downside of the situation is it is a Northern Rail train, but you know what? I guess can't be choosers. I was heading into the back of beyond. Like these are just fields after fields after fields. So I thought in case you don't know, Taylor Swift can explain the Lake District to you herself. Yeah, it's the Lake District. <laughs> it's in England and it's, you know, in the, in the 19th century, you had a lot of poets like William Wordsworth and, and John Keats would spend a lot of time there. So the lakes is, is really talking a lot about relating to people who hundreds of years ago had the same exit plan and did it. Okay, trend number four is to Glasgow Central, so I need to make sure I do get off this one. Further west we've come, guys. Look at the blue sky. Very Unlake District-esque. Good afternoon, welcome on board. This Transpennine Express service for Glasgow Central. Next station stop will be Oxenholm, the Lake District. Then after five trains and four hours, we had finally arrived in Windermere. Very luckily, my friend Eleanor actually lives in the Lake District, so she kindly picked me up from the station and I was quickly about to glance my first peek <laughs> at those Windermere peaks. So it is time to go and look at those Windermere peaks to finally see the source of the inspiration. I've got my trusty friend Eleanor, who is gonna be able to give me some inside info and some Lake District intel, and we're just gonna head off. I'm very excited, it is a beautiful day. We've got so lucky. Here we have it, the big one. This right here is Windermere. And this video is not to be like, oh my gosh, visit the Lake District. But honestly, visit the Lake District. Like you can see why this was the inspiration for an entire song. I mean, just look at this. Hey girl, would you bloody look at that? I actually can't believe it. It's also kind of insane like that I'm seeing this with fairly blue skies. I feel incredibly lucky because I'm pretty sure this is probably most famous for always being rainy. <laughs> Eleanor's being a tour guide. It's going pretty well actually. But we weren't done. From here I knew I needed to tick off one more place mentioned in this song. Also here right near Windermere is the grave of William Wordsworth. I went to William Wordsworth's grave and just sat there and I was like, you went and did it. Yeah. You just did it. You just went away and you just, you kept writing, but you didn't subscribe to the things that were killing you. And that concluded my final stop of this challenge. That was the end of my time in the Lake District. And as I was leaving, I realized it wasn't just Camden Market that was a shrine to Taylor Swift. She is everywhere if you're looking for her. And I do feel I've started to lose my mind by this point. You are not gonna believe this. But crossing the road back from Windermere, I look to the side and I wish I could have filmed this, but there's a group of children on a school trip, all in fancy dress, right? Obviously not gonna film it. Front girl was dressed in a Junior Jules costume, full Taylor Swift, pajama bottoms, like mini Taylor Swift across the road in front of me. And I was like, this is just so bizarre. So that concludes our Taylor Swift tour of the UK. Honestly, this was just something that I wanted to do for fun and visiting locations mentioned in songs is literally nothing new. I was actually in Liverpool at the weekend and I met people doing walking tours of Beatles locations and I thought this is just my version of that. If you have enjoyed this video do give it a huge thumbs up. Any comments down below helps to boost this video in the algorithm. Like I say I have just done this because I enjoyed it. But if you have enjoyed watching it too, thumbs up, a comment, even a subscribe really does go a long way. And if you have any fellow Taylor Swift fan friends that you think might like my content or might like this video, be sure to send it their way, share the love on social media. All of the support really, really helped boost my channel within YouTube. All that's left to say is this was quite the task. I feel I've seen a lot of London, covered some distance on the trains. And I honestly feel like I could go to sleep for about a week. Thank you so much for watching. I should be back on my channel very, very soon. And I will be doing a reacting video to the brand new album that's going to be out next month so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it and i'll see you then bye guys